What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. This video is going to be a little pack with me vlog because this girl, I'm going on vacation. Ooh, I cannot wait to get a little bit of a break, friends. I'm so excited. I'm going to be away for about two weeks. For most of the vacation, I'm going to be in Paris with my boyfriend because we had so much fun last year. And then for about four to five days during the trip, we are going to meet up with his mom and some other family members in Split, Croatia. So we have two different destinations. And I thought for this video, I would try and show you guys all of my packing and travel tips hacks, little materials and things that I like to use, what fashion am I bringing, what makeup am I bringing, makeup brushes, how do I like to pack all of those things. So hopefully you guys can pick up some tips. And then of course, you know I'm a luxury addict, so I like to not only travel with my luxury items, but I also like to buy things when I'm away. So I'll kind of show you guys my little tips and strategies for how you can bring those things back safely when you go and you shop abroad. So hopefully you guys find this entertaining. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. And without further ado, friends, let's get into this packing vlog. Say hi to Minnie. She's here with her little friends. I just thought she could say hello in the beginning of this vlog. Say hello. Oh, okay, time to pack. Time to pack. Bye, Minnie. All right, friends, I'm here in my bedroom where I'm going to be doing most of the packing. I thought I would kick things off by showing you what luggage I'm going to be bringing on this trip. Normally, I will bring one, like, regular size check-in luggage, one carry-on, and one backpack. So I'll kind of explain how I like to pack each of these. I'm not a minimalist. I know a lot of you out there, and I respect you and admire you. You've told me that you can do a whole vacation on just a carry-on. Y'all know I can't do that, okay? <laughs> when I'm on vacation... I want to be living my best life. I want my outfits. I want my makeup. I want my hair tools. I want my shoes. And I'll kind of just pare everything down very strategically while I'm packing so that it all kind of works. I'm happy and I still have some room to go shopping. So here's the luggage that I have. By the way, like none of this is sponsored. I'll link everything I mentioned in the video in the description box, but I do use affiliate links. Some of them I may earn a commission if you shop through my links. So I just want to mention that, guys. So this is the new suitcase that I just picked up. Ah, she is my baby. This is the aluminum Ramoa trunk. And the reason that I picked this up is because my other suitcase, unfortunately, after five and a half very fond years, she broke. And it's it's a little bit my fault because I do abuse my suitcases. I'm like taking these things through train stations, through city streets, over curbs, bumps, rocks, all kinds of stuff. So one of the reasons why I decided to just like bite the bullet and finally get a Ramoa like I've always wanted is because it comes with a lifetime warranty. They also make the lightest weight aluminum suitcases apparently on the market. The reason that I also wanted to give this one a try is because this is the trunk style. So you probably will see right here, this side is thicker and this side is thinner. Like a traditional trunk from back in the day when people had like fancy hat boxes and all that kind of stuff. It's just a little bit easier to fit those types of things that people like me like to bring on vacation like handbags and hats and shoes and bulky makeup cases. So I'm really excited to give this a try. She is solid, like you need a crowbar to get into this suitcase. Anyway, the carry-on that I'm using right here is from Arlo Sky. I really like their brand. If you're looking for a little bit more of like an affordable suitcase, this is polycarbonate. And the carry-on is where I will put basically anything that I don't want to lose. So if I am bringing a handbag, if I have some nice shoes or like jewelry or scarves or anything like that, I will put it in the carry-on. Also anything that could potentially make the check-in just a little bit overweight, I will put it in the carry-on. And then of course I have a backpack because you gotta have snacks on the plane because in this day and age, guys, they barely feed you anymore. I need my snacks. I need some other things to be accessible. Maybe a laptop if I'm gonna do some editing on the plane. So that's what I use the backpack for. And this backpack is from Toomey. Highly, highly recommend this style. I think it's called the Voyager. I'll put it in the description box. I have the leather one, but you can also find a slightly more affordable nylon version. It's got so many pockets. You can put it through here so that it easily stays onto your suitcase, it's fantastic. Oh, the other thing that I like about 
the Ramoa trunk is that because it is like boxier and has a larger surface area here, when we travel with Minnie, she's less likely to fall off the suitcase. It's just a little bit more stable to put her kitty carrier on top. So I'm very jazzed about that. Now, if you like to shop when you travel, the other little tip that I have for you is get yourself an affordable and packable little tote bag just like this. I picked this up on Amazon a couple of years ago for like $35 or $40. And this is just a large and roomy tote. It has a zipper on the top. It has a nice little handy top handle and also a shoulder strap. And also it folds up super easily. So this is going to go in my check-in luggage. And what's going to happen is that when I go and I like to buy things at the shops, when I travel, I now have this little extra piece of luggage that I can use kind of as like a mini check-in. And yes, I am going to have to pay for an extra check-in bag, but it's not going to be overweight. It's going to be like 25, 30 bucks, which honestly for me is totally fine. Since most of the time when I'm shopping abroad, I'm going to be saving hundreds of dollars on tax. And just the fact that I'm buying it maybe in Europe, the product might be cheaper. So I like to put this in my check-in. It folds up super nicely. I buy my things. I'll just move things around so that basically I'm still bringing my most valuable things in the carry-on or in my backpack. And then I will check the check-in luggage and this little guy right here. So that's how I managed to bring all of my stuff. I technically have another little bag here that I put in my check-in. Maybe it's overkill, but this is what works for me. So that's another little hack for you guys. So I started doing my plain outfit and I wanna show you guys kind of like a chic plain outfit that maybe you can put together with some things that are already in your wardrobe. I like to be comfortable and I like to be warm when I'm on the plane, but I also like to feel a little bit more put together when I get off the plane because a lot of times you go to your hotel and they don't have your room ready and it's like, oh great, now I gotta walk around the streets of Paris and I look like a schlub and I just wanna feel a little bit more put together. So let me show you some of my favorite pieces that I like to bring with me. First off, yo, you need these pants. These are a game changer. I got these maybe a couple weeks ago from the Aloe Yoga store here in Boston. And now I've got four different colors. I've got like four different variations of these pants. This is the black color. And I think these are called the Pursuit Trouser. I'm going to link the two styles I own down below. These look like a fancy cute trouser like they're so flattering okay but look look here there's an elastic waistband i'm gonna have to show you a photo here of what these look like on the model because they're so comfortable because you feel like you're wearing joggers but you look very put together they're machine washable if you spill something on them like when you're on the plane you open something up the yogurt explodes all over your lap you can go and you can rinse it off in the bathroom you need these pants, they're so, so good. Then I'll kind of pack these different little layers depending on what the weather is gonna be because you know it's gonna be cold on the plane. So first off, I have just like a chic little tank top. This one is from Phoebe John, which is one of the brands I told you guys about in my recent fashion vlog. I'll link it down below. Actually, a lot of the clothes I'm gonna show you guys are featured in my recent fashion vlog. So you might wanna check that out if you wanna see like some mod shots. But this is a really nice brand with some great casual and also workwear basics. I'll show you some trousers in just a second. But I picked this out to kind of just pair with the trousers, something, you know, kind of uh, at leisure elegant. Then I have a Uniqlo thermal. These are very lightweight. Anytime it's like, oh shoot, didn't know it was gonna be this cold out you can kind of pop this under another shirt or sweater or anything else that you brought. So I will probably pack this in that to me backpack and I'll pop it on in case I need extra warmth. Then these are my favorite sweaters from Everlane. I have them in every single color. I think this one is maybe the charcoal. They bring them back every single year guys and i always like these because they're very soft and lofty and they're very warm because they are alpaca but they're not super heavy it's not like the thickest sweater you can bring so you can kind of just layer this on top and then you have 
this like system of warmth and you know cuteness and whatnot to work with then i'll usually bring a little hat like this you know maybe your hair doesn't look so good after the flight or whatever this one is from ami paris i have like another gucci one that i like to wear i'm probably gonna bring this one though because it's so cute i just picked this up at the beginning of the summer and yeah i'll kind of just pop all of that on and that'll be my cute little plain outfit so now i'm gonna start putting together some separates for Paris. It looks like the weather's a bit all over the place. Right now it is very hot in Paris, but it seems like shortly after we get there, it is going to be a nice comfortable low 70s and then maybe like 60 or high 50s at night. So I am going to kind of probably pack long trousers with some lighter tops and then maybe like a sweater or a jacket or something that I can pair with everything. And then in Croatia, it's going to be like 80 to 85 degrees during the day. So that's gonna be a different set of clothes. So you guys will see what I'm gonna bring to Croatia. Now you can see here, it's a pretty like neutral, color palette if it was a more of like a summer trip not in september i would probably bring more dresses more prints that kind of stuff and we'll see if i can fit in a dress or two but i want to show you guys i have these two really beautiful neutral trousers these are both from that phoebe john brand i was talking about my friend actually owns the brand she designs all of the clothes so just like full disclosure it's not sponsored or anything like that but she did give me a coupon code for you guys i just machine washed these last night so they're really easy to wash i just air dried them on a rack i got these two pairs of jeans from frame oh my goodness i'm obsessed with these styles these in particular these are going to be my new favorite trouser style jeans oh my goodness these are not just like regular blue jeans they are a beautiful kind of a trouser style that's really my favorite type of jean then here i have a selection of little tank tops that i can layer with anything so i have my little celine crop here some from aloe yoga right here i've got an everlane one and then i've got all of the phoebe john ones that i love because i really like the cut especially i love this gray color as well then i have these crisp white shirts this one is from obviously ami paris i also have the matching t-shirt right here i just washed this i still have to iron it so don't judge me and then i also just ordered another one of my favorite white shirts from everlane i think this is the silky cotton button up i think it's called you guys can kind of envision just like a very elegant trouser you know a nice basic top maybe a little jacket and then i pulled out some example accessories here i love to wear these little twilly scarves or it's a mitza scarf because this one is from dior i like to put these on my bags but you can also put them in your hair i like to use them as a belt i have a little hermes belt here that i can kind of like pair with different things it is reversible the other side is white so you can use it with a lot of you know different looks and then i'm probably going to bring one of my little dior hats because i think 70 degrees is like perfect hat weather you know it's sunny you need a little bit of shade but you're not sweating because it's not going to be super duper hot outside so i can picture a look with cute little trousers a little button up maybe a nice little belt cute bag and this little cap to just tie everything together so that's kind of like my first set of separates that i'm evaluating and then because it's going to be a little bit chilly i also pulled out some suiting so i have kind of some matchy matchy sets and then also the blazers from the suits can be paired with the separates that's kind of how i like to do things when i travel everything goes together these two sets right here are from a brand called shauna joy i just talked about this in my recent vlog as well i love this outfit so many of you guys told me that i looked good in red so thank you so much maybe that's why it's my favorite color and this is a sleeveless blazer so kind of good for during the day and it comes with this little matching crop top i have the matching trousers and i also have the matching skirt so these will serve as really nice separates as well so i'm definitely going to be bringing this outfit and then i also got the coconut one right here just like the red one i got the skirt i got the pants i got the matching crop top then i pulled out some of my favorites from some of my favorite french brands so this is a cute little suit that i hauled for you guys from sandro i got it believe 
believe it or not, in Miami because everything that was like winter stuff was on sale for me, <laughs> the person visiting from Boston. So this is a cute little suit that I can wear. I also have this little set from Maj. I'm really excited to go to Sandro and Maj when I go to Paris. Hopefully I can find some cute things. But this is a very like Chanel inspired little jacket. I have the matching shorts. Now that I have a lot of the outfits laid out, I did pick out a couple of bag options here, guys. This is where I struggle because I want to bring all of these bags, but I'm probably only going to bring like one, maybe two. <laughs> I'm leaning towards the Celine box bag because it is the lizard leather. So it's very hard wearing. It fits a ton. It can be held cross body, but also on the shoulder. I really want to bring this one because it looks so cute with all the outfits. I also picked this up last year on my trip to Paris. The only thing that makes me a little bit hesitant is just the fact that this doesn't fit that much. This is the um, Capucine BB, by the way. Then I have my beautiful Lady Dior. I mean, what does this not go with? And I recently got the little scars with the Paris map, but I'm not sure because this one is a little bit on the heavy side and it's a little bit more bulky to pack and then finally i have my vintage chanel vanity case right here this is also pretty hard wearing and it fits a ton as well so here is the vibe for the croatia part of the trip i feel like this is going to be a little bit more of a no-brainer because it's going to be warmer first off i am going to bring yes another bag and that's why i'm like oh i don't know how many bags i'm gonna bring but the plan is for me to bring this bag which is a cute little chloe basket like bucket bag it does have a little top handle it does have a crossbody strap and it's really easy to pack i have it stuffed right now but you can kind of smoosh it or stuff it with clothes it's great. It sold out last year and it came back in stock and it's like under a thousand dollars, which basically no bag is these days. I really like it. And then I have all of these pieces from Trisse Paris. This is a new brand that I'm absolutely obsessed with, along with Shauna Joy and Phoebe John and all that kind of stuff that I've been talking about lately. They do the cutest little sets. So this is like a long sleeve shirt and then it comes with these nice easy breathable shorts it's all like nice cotton and then i have a little crop top to wear with that gonna pair that with my dior dad sandals they also do really pretty tops like this this is kind of like a little mermaid spaghetti strap slightly cropped camisole i have another very lightweight shirt and shorts set right here then i have this gorgeous like seaside inspired dress. And I have the little matching scrunchie as well. Then I also have this cute little set from Shauna Joy, as I mentioned, the other brand that I'm kind of obsessed with. Just really nice, easy black shorts that I can pair with the other things in my wardrobe and then a little crop top. Good morning, friends. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my packing today. It was getting a little bit dark outside and it was making it hard to film. So what I did last night is I finished picking out all of my clothes just kind of paring everything down. So I'm gonna show you guys how I pack that. But first, I wanna show you the makeup that I'm gonna be bringing on this trip. I'm here at my desk, so let's take a look. So here's the lay of the land, friends. I really try to pare things down to makeup that is neutral, that I'll kind of work for every single outfit that I picked out. When I'm on vacation, I do wear a full face of makeup. I love having my makeup on and feeling my best, but I don't go too crazy i'm not doing smoky eyes and things like that because i'm usually doing my makeup in the morning and then i need it to last all day and i don't really want to usually wear like something too crazy during the day so let's start off with foundation i've showed you guys these before but these are handy little pump bottles that you can get from amazon they're very affordable. I usually just buy them in a huge pack. And then I will decant some of my favorite foundations in them and I'll just put these little labels here. So I'm gonna link these down below in addition to the label maker that I know a lot of you guys have already purchased already. I brought out a couple here. I don't know if I'm gonna bring all of these yet, but I have the Pat McGrath, I have the Chanel 
Le Beige, and then I also brought here House Labs. And I need to kind of refill some of these because I have obviously brought them on other trips. And then I also pulled out here the Danessa Marks Yummy Skin. I wanted something that was gonna be kind of light and breathable and easy, probably more so for Croatia, whereas those other ones I showed you, they're more kind of like perfecting medium coverage. But yeah, I wanted to have at least one foundation stick or like a skin tint or something. And I really like the, the Danessa Myricks one. And then I have this cute little mini Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Primer. So I was like, okay, perfect. It's nice and small. We like that. This is the Dior Lip Sugar Scrub. I always start off with this when I'm doing my makeup. It just kind of preps the lips. This is probably my favorite lip balm ever. I do have the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I like to use this for little touch-ups, kind of perfecting around the brows or like a lipstick, something like that. I also have two concealers here. I've got the New Makeup by Mario one that I've been enjoying and the Uma Beauty one. These are nice and creamy, long wear, decent coverage. They're very quick to apply, which is why I like them. Like, I don't want to be sitting there spending a million hours being fussy with my makeup. I also have a little mini Urban Decay setting spray. I also have a little mini MAC Fix Plus. These are just things that I always save for these types of trips. And then I want to show you guys, I don't have a foundation with this right now, but I also buy these little containers. You know, you can like depot a lip balm or a cream blush or a thicker foundation because there are some foundations in my collection that don't really work for this because they're just thicker. So like Chantecaille Future Skin Foundation. So I'll link these down below, but that's another little tip. And then the other thing that I like to bring on most of my trips is an hourglass palette. And the reason for that is because I can just get a good all-in-one. So this one has two different blushes that are both different because we all know hourglass a lot of times, like the blushes, looks similar but I like for this one I have a nice bright coral and a very muted neutral plum it also comes with a highlighter right here it comes with two powders which is very important for me and then it comes with a bronzer so this is what I'm going to be using for pretty much every single look when it comes to powder highlighter bronzer I haven't decided yet but I think I'm also going to bring the Chanel 10 dress palette because I think it would just give me like some fall vibes. I don't know. I kind of like this for autumn time and I like that I can get a couple more just like different neutral blushes in here. I also pulled out this cute little mini of what is this? Paradise Venus? Yeah, Paradise Venus from Pat McGrath. I got this little mini when I ordered the new Mothership palette. I also have Crystal Slipper from RMS. I just did a review of this one and I thought this would just be the perfect neutral blush to kind of just put with everything. So who knows, I might take one or two of those away, but that's kind of what we're working with here. And then for my eyeshadow palettes, I am going pretty neutral, different types of neutral. And I really like the Viseart palettes because they are made out of cardboard, which maybe isn't super luxurious, but they're so lightweight and compact. And so the three that I picked out all kind of give me different vibes. The first one is this one. I, I pretty much always bring this one if I'm going to like a warm weather or like a beachy type of place. This is Soleil La Plage, and so it gives me, you know, neutrals with a pop of color. I really like the bright, sunny ones over on that part of the palette. And then, of course, Paris Edit. I love bringing this one to Paris with me. It's very soft. We've got some pinks. And then because we kind of have like the pops of colors, the warm tones and the pinky tones, I brought out the Viseart Solstice palette. This one is just so quick. It's one of my favorite palettes ever in the neutral category at least. And it's very small and petite. And then after I pulled those out, I was kind of looking through some of the other new makeup that I've gotten recently. And I remembered that I got these palettes from the Chanel Boutique. Let me get these out of the way. This is one of the Le Beige palettes. This one is, what's it called? Intense. And then this one I believe is called Warm. Yeah, this one is called Warm. And I thought these would be so elegant to bring as well. I was told by the Chanel sales associate that this is the one that like Margot Robbie wears a lot, like in the you know, Barbie press tour and whatnot. And it's such a pretty palette and I've really been wanting to test these out some more. So I think I might bring both of these. I'm not sure guys, I might only bring one, we shall see. And then moving over here, I basically just picked out a 
selection of eyeliners. I love the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner. That's kind of my go-to for a cat eye. I also love the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. And of course you can see here, I have several of the Chanel, what is it? Yo Stilo waterproof, my favorite eyeliners ever. So I brought a couple of those in different types of neutral and autumnal colors. To me, like if you really want to pare things down, bring a neutral eyeshadow palette and then just bring a couple of eyeliners because you really can change up the look with just an eyeliner. For mascaras, I have my little mini of the Benefit Fan Fest and I also have the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. These are both really good. And then for lips, it's been a little bit of a struggle pairing it down because I always wanna bring so many lip products, but then of course I don't end up wearing half of them. But let me show you some of the ones I definitely wanna bring. These are the new Chanel Rouge Cocoa Blooms from the Fall Collection. So I have the nude and the bright purple one in there. I also have this Lip Glow from Dior in the strawberry shade. Just a really easy pop of color. You don't have to be like too precious with it. I can kind of just keep it in my handbag. I wanna bring at least one YSL Rouge Volupte Shine. And this is my favorite one, it's called orange carousel it's just really pretty kind of lively nude with a little bit of orange in it i've really been enjoying these viziart lip oils what are these called they are moisture boost lip shine they're so good i have my favorite dior lip maximizer in the bronze shade i also have these little teeny bitty mini dior lip maximizers this is the new dior rouge lip lacquers that are really great and long wearing and then for actual lipsticks i have a little mini dior nude look i also have one of the prada lipsticks in the shade fauve which is a neutral color and then finally i brought out l'avenue from the merit lightweight lipsticks i thought this would be a really pretty fall color to just dab onto the center of the lips here's another little thing that i've showed you guys in the past these are handy little atomizers where you can basically decant your favorite fragrances into and you can buy a whole pack of these and then you can label them with whatever you put in them so you actually can remember so yeah friends that's all of the makeup that i'm going to be bringing i'm now going to be packing it all in this little clear what would you call this like a little truffle case and we're going to see if all of it fits so i'm going to do that right now and then i'm going to show you guys the brushes that i'm going to be bringing and how i like to store my brushes for travel. So here are the brushes that I think I'm gonna be bringing on this trip. What I did is I did a whole big brush wash just so that I had everything clean. And then I kind of just pared it down. I know I have a lot of brushes, so there might be a couple here that I remove. But in general, I try and bring for the face brushes some things that are very multi-purpose. And then for the eye brushes, I just wanna make sure that I have every single shape covered. So I am gonna be bringing my IT Cosmetics foundation brush. They did just come out with the new version of this, by the way, so it is now available again. I also really like the BK Beauty 101. This is great for contour. I can use it for basically any kind of cream product. If my other foundation brush gets dirty, I can use this as a foundation brush. The BK Beauty 109, I love this for concealer. I also have the BK Beauty, which one is this? 113, and I like this for just kind of setting my powder and everything. And then you can also see, I have a couple of my favorite Sonia G brushes here as well, some of the more multi-purpose ones. The Face Pro, this one is great for bronzer. I can use it for blush. I like that it has the angled shape. It's just good for so many things. And then I brought the two buffer brushes. So we have the Smooth Buffer and the Buffer Pro. I thought about bringing just one, but honestly, I do really like both of them. And I think that the Smooth Buffer as well, it's really good for getting into those smaller pans in the Hourglass palettes. I also brought the refer number 20 just kind of like for highlight or like a lighter blush for all of the eye brushes over here once again i just tried to get like a good amount of shapes so you can see we've got some crease brushes we have some shader brushes in here some of them are a little bit more detailed we have a brush that i can just use like for touch-ups and that kind of stuff these are the brushes i think i'm gonna be bringing i always get a lot of questions about brushes guys so in the description box i'm gonna have a link to a collection where you can find 
all or most of these brushes as long as they are still available so that you guys can shop from that collection if you're looking for some multi-purpose brushes because i always get questions like what brush is that which one is that and then i'm going to be putting all of the brushes in this new product from bk beauty this was gifted to me it's not sponsored or anything like that i have a bk beauty coupon code that i'll put in the description box but this is such a handy little travel companion basically what it is is that it's a little pouch to put your brushes in so it kind of expands like that and then there's a zipper at the top it's smooshy so you can kind of pack it into any little space in your suitcase and then once you get to your destination you can just scrunch this down. I'll show you guys in a second how it looks with my brushes in it. And then you can easily use this as a little brush stand. So I'm gonna put all my makeup in my little case. I'm gonna put the brushes in here and then you guys can see what I got. Okay, so here's what the brush holder looks like with all my brushes inside. It totally fits. I could even fit more in there. There are little slots inside where you can slot the brushes in, but there's only a couple. I really don't use them. I just kind of put everything in there and then it just goes up, and then I'm gonna zip it up, and there we go. And I'm just gonna pack it in my suitcase like this, and then all of my makeup fits in the little case like that. I did put the lip products and all of the eyeliners, like the long stuff, in these little just random pouches that I've collected from previous purchases, and that just makes it easy so that when I'm taking everything out, I don't have a bunch of like lipsticks rattling around in here because it is packed. As you can see, fairly tight and you can kind of see everything that's inside of there. So makes it super handy. So that is the makeup and the brushes. And voila friends, here is my new suitcase all nice and packed. Let me show you guys how I packed this nice and organized. This section right here, which is the smaller section, it's very flat on the bottom. So basically what I did is I put all of my suiting there and I just laid it nice and flat. Even my like button up shirts, the trousers, all of that stuff for the most part, I was able to just lay flat and then I compressed it down. Right here, you guys will see, I've got my little tote bag that I have folded up that I'll put all the things that I buy or, you know, move things around. I put everything in these packing cubes. I will link the ones that I like to use down below. I really like the packing cubes because especially with larger suitcases like this that have a bigger compartment, it really helps you just kind of keep everything organized so that if I need to go find one thing, I can just get the cube out. If I need to reconfigure this, I can take the cube out. So I really like the packing cubes and the way that they just keep everything organized. Do they save you space? Not really. If you are looking to save space, what I would recommend is to use something like this. This is a compression pouch. So you pop your items in and then you zipper it up and then there's a second zipper that kind of squeezes the air out and smushes it down. This is really great for space saving and I put my sweaters in this one just to kind of scrunch them down because you know, sweaters are like the bulkiest thing that you end up packing. I prefer using mostly packing cubes and I'll tell you why. The packing cubes really kind of organize everything almost like a dresser would. Whereas with these, I feel like I'm really shoving things in and when I take them out, they're more wrinkled. I find that I end up packing a little bit too much and the bag ends up being super duper heavy. And it's like they don't fit in the suitcase as neatly. So I like to do the packing cubes. They're a lot more modular, but if you have something that you really need to like squeeze down, then I would go with the compression option. I just don't really like like the end result of this, but I did it for the sweater. So I'll link the ones that I picked up down below. They're still a really great product. You might have noticed I also picked up this little pack of air tags. My plan is to have an air tag for every single piece of luggage, maybe even put one in whatever purse I end up picking. So I picked these up as well, and these are great just in case your baggage gets lost, something like that. I've heard a lot of stories from people saying like their bag got lost and they could at least like know where it was to kind of help the airline find it and whatnot. And then here is the carry-on, friends. I just put all of my shoes in here so far, and then I put 
my makeup and my brushes and my little basket bag. I have a decent amount of space to squeeze more stuff. I kind of want to keep it that way. I don't want to like overwhelm all of the suitcases. So I have, I think, plenty of space for all of these things. I have room for just a little bit more. And then of course I have that little tote that I can open up and put anything that I purchase inside. All right, friends, I hope that you enjoyed this little pack with me vlog. Hopefully you picked up some little tips and tricks or just found it entertaining. If you like this video, please do not forget to give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I am going to be posting some vlogs of my time in Paris and also make sure you are following me on Instagram because as I go throughout my trip, I am going to be posting a lot of content and updates to my Instagram. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. <music>